In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to write code in Obsidian. Whether you're new to Obsidian or just looking to expand your toolkit, this guide will walk you through the steps to effectively incorporate code into your Obsidian notes. Let's get started. First, make sure you have Obsidian open on your computer. If you haven't already downloaded it, you'll want to do so before proceeding. Once you're set, you'll find yourself in the main dashboard, your central hub for navigating all the features Obsidian has to offer. On the left sidebar, you'll notice a section labeled Files where all your existing notes are stored. If you have any files there, feel free to click on one to open it. If not, direct your attention to the upper left-hand corner of the dashboard. Here is where you'll find various options for creating new content. Among these options is a note icon labeled New Note. Go ahead and click on this icon to get started on creating your fresh, new note. When you've created your new note, Give it a title that makes sense for your content. This will help keep your files organized and easy to find later on. Now, let's dive into writing code. Begin by typing the backtick character on your keyboard. If you're uncertain about its location, don't worry. It's situated just to the left of the number one on most keyboards. Press this key once and you'll see a single backtick on your new note. Repeat this step and you'll see a pair of back ticks. These are your inline code markers. You can type anything between these two back ticks to format it as code directly within your text. When you wish to create a code block, it's a slightly different process. You'll want to start by typing the back tick key three times. You'll see three back ticks form the start and end of what will become your code block. Now, focus on the space between these sets of three back ticks. This is where you label your code with the programming language you're using. Simply type the name, like Python, to specify. With your language label in place, you can now type or paste your code directly within the boundaries of these backticks. This allows for larger chunks of code to be consistently formatted and much easier to read. Once you've added your code, click at the very end of the closing backticks and press Enter to finalize. And there you have it you've successfully integrated code into your Obsidian note. This approach is excellent for keeping examples of code alongside your notes or projects, making your data and workflows seamless and organized. Congratulations on mastering this useful skill. Thank you for watching, and happy coding in Obsidian.